There's one right there. Oh, yeah. That feels like a decent fish. A lot of line out. When you got this much line out, it's always a little bit hard to tell what you got. Then you know you're going two and a half miles an hour. Two miles an hour, two and a half, but it feels like a pretty decent fish. When I turned and looked at it, he had the rod doubled over pretty good. I didn't see him hit it. I wasn't paying close enough attention, but when I turned and looked, it was doubled over pretty good and it feels pretty doggone heavy. Now I'm trolling a bait today. Been a little bit of a secret in the Midwest, but man, I'll tell you, it's just a flat out fish catcher. You go down onto Erie, you go down to any of the Great Lakes, you go over to Saginaw Bay, you go down on Erie, you go head over to New York, that Dunkirk area, everybody knows what a bandit walleye deep is. But throughout the Midwest, you know, it hasn't been known as, a, as an inland body of water bait as much as it has been a Great Lakes bait. And let me tell you, I think it's equally effective on inland water. I think there's proof of it at the other end of this line. I'll tell you, it's a bait that I've pulled for a lot of years. It's a, just a good crankbait. It's got a big, deep pitch rattle. It's the kind of bait I like to think of as a search bait, a bait that's gonna catch the biggest fish. It's not a bait that I look at as catching a whole bunch of 16 inch fish. You know, I, I like to think more of things like wally divers there and stuff, but boy, when I think of a, a bandit walleye, bandit walleye deep, what I think is bigger fish. And that's what I got hooked up right here. Boy, this fish is staying down on me. You know, a lot of times when they're smaller, they'll come up to the surface, but this one, there he is right there. Good fish, big mouth on this one. Can always tell when they come up like this, with that mouth open, that it's a good fish. Got a whole mouth full of bandit walleye deep. <laughs> he came up and smashed this thing, and just another great fish. Look at this one. Big eye. Big, thick, strong walleye. Look at this fish. That's awesome. Got himself unhooked right there while he's flopping around giant. This is what you can do with this kind of bait right here. Let me get this thing out. Let me show you the fish and then I'm going to get the bait out of there and I'll show you a little bit more about it. Settle down big girl and we'll get you back in. Just a giant. Look at that fish. Giant walleye. That is just awesome man. Day after day this is what I catch when I fish bandits. That's an awesome fish. And it's just a big fish catching lure. Get this big girl out of here. There she goes. That's awesome. Let me get this boat turned. Kind of lost a little boat control, did a big circle there dealing with that fish. But let me show you this bait. This lure is phenomenal. It's been one of my favorites for a long time. And you know, back when I was tournament fishing, I'd use this and, and I'll tell you, there's a lot of guys tournament fishing using this bait right here from the Great Lakes to to inland waters and it's it's not such a secret anymore on inland water it's an awesome lure what that is is a long lure with a big profile okay it's got a big bill it's going to dive it's going to dive with a great action it's going to get you down somewhere in that neighborhood 20 to 25 27 feet depending on what kind of line you're pulling and, and you know ultimately just a just a great bait but listen to this big deep rattles this ain't, this ain't the kind of bait that attracts little fish. This is the kind of bait that I fish when I'm looking to catch fish like that one right there. When I'm looking to put giants in the boat, this is what I'm gonna fish. It's the Bandit Walleye Deep. Here's what's really cool about this bait. Because the Great Lakes are such a big deal, this is such a big deal on the Great Lakes, it's got a whole ton of awesome colors because you know one of the neatest things that you see in the Great Lakes is all of these different colors being fished. And, and guys get so excited about these different colors, I mean, you look at this stuff here, I mean, there is, there's a, a little bit of everything. There's natural colors, there's fruit loopy type colors. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff here. And if, if you're looking to attract big walleyes, get their attention, you're gonna get them with those colors. You're gonna get them with that action. You're gonna get them with that rattle. Make sure you got some bandit walleye deeps. If you, if you got some of those, 
you're putting them out when you're looking for big fish, I guarantee you, you're gonna catch a bunch of those big fish and it's just a fun lure. I mean, day in and day out, I catch a lot of my big fish on this lure right here.